Hello, hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back to the Curly Head Timber. My name is Curly Daisy and welcome to the first ever episode in season two, Mars Legacy, Single Father on the Ranch. Now, as you guys just saw, Nick Klaus is settling into his new life beautifully. He is working hard to get his little girl lots of milestones and he's just, you know, doing what he got to do to be the best father that he can. He's been working odd jobs. He's going to his work as a fast food cook and he's trying to figure out what is the next logical step for him to make some money. And truthfully, at the moment, the next logical step that I can think of is something hands on. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys don't like the idea, we can do something else, but leave comments down below what you think Nicolau should do for money. My, mo my immediate thought is there are three things. He can breed frogs, he can, because you know, ranch, animals, all that. He can fish, and he can, which doesn't really have much to do with the ranch, but it's just a hands-on thingy, and he did it as a kid with his father, if you guys remember, I don't know if you guys remember. And lastly, he can do some woodworking, which I'm most inclined to, because he can get his handiness skill up, and he can, make his own furniture etc etc and fix things around the ranch which he's gonna need to be good at if he's gonna be like this you know ranch man he has to be able to fix things that go broken or etc so right now i'm just gonna go ahead and get a woodworking table and you guys can let me know if you guys hate the idea but as of right now i'm thinking about having him carve a bunch of those little horse sculptures and sell those because how fitting is that? He's selling a bunch of horse sculptures to make money to buy his own ranch. I mean, of course he can sell other things too, but starting off with he has no skill level, I think a bunch of horse sculptures would be perfect. Definitely does not have much money to be spending on this wood carving table, but I really can't resist getting it. And I think it'll be a great way that makes sense to earn him some money i did think about put it in it putting it in the garage because it kind of fits with the stuff naveen got going on there but i don't want anyone using it else using it when he needs to use it etc etc plus him being able to carve up here at night while baby girl sleeps you know is better than him being downstairs and she starts crying or whatever all right miss ma'am so we're getting some food ready for you you know you need you need got a lot of things going on that you need help with so I had Niklaus take baby girl Naomi to downstairs to with her grandparents while he was at work. Really, we sent her to daycare, but he still took her downstairs before he went to day before he went to work. So I like to imagine that her, her grandparents are wearing her, are watching her while he's at work. I do imagine that. I mean, I do know that there is a mod where you can spend the weekend with. Unfortunately, infants don't have phones, so we cannot, I, for whatever reason, it's not working to let me do the, the I don't know. I have to, I have to play with the mod. I wasn't able to figure out how to make it the infant to spend the weekend with. Don't know if that's even an option or not or if it's because a teen that is glitching or i don't know it kept trying to send nick klaus to spend the weekend with his parents versus sending baby girl to send them spend the weekend with so there is that <laughs> and as you guys can see he pretty much works the later half of the weekend he's off on sunday and monday he makes 18 dollars an hour he's almost ready for a promotion he just has to get the level two cooking skill which at the moment i have not had him cooking really much at all i had him order some healthy meals from the savanka and swanka and savanka's mod healthy food delivery mod and they said she so he has some meals in here that he can eat for the next couple of days so he won't have to cook this part but i am gonna have him you know maybe buy a cookbook and start reading even if he doesn't necessarily want to cook himself i do think he needs to at least get his skill cook and skill up so that he can get promoted up and make a little bit more money 
an hour prom is starting he's definitely not going to prom he dropped out of high school and his girlfriend he's very much single did you guys see that new love struck pack that has me very much interested because at some point Nicholas will be dating i mean you know speaking of Nicholas and dating that's another thing I need to mention. He does have the serial romantic aspiration. I imagine that Niklaus is going through, he's still a teenager, immature, all those things. So I imagine that he's going through a F boy phase where, you know, oh, she broke my heart. So now I'm just going to break a bunch of people's hearts. So in order for him to, matter of fact, in order for him to find his true love or be truly happy, he has to he has to complete this aspiration. So he has to break a bunch of hearts first before he can truly find his own happiness and love. And as a matter of fact, I need to give you guys the list of all the things that I want Niklaus to complete during this journey. Okay, so to complete this generation, we have to raise $20,000 to buy our land. Niklaus has to complete the high school GED. He has to complete the serial aspiration. He has to complete the hand ranch aspiration after he completes the serial and romantic aspiration. And he has to raise Naomi to have a good life. I think our boy is up for the task. <laughs> right now, he's just taking a little shower. I do have WW in my game right now. That is why you cannot... We got to be careful what we show. I am removing it from my game after this part. I like to get it for certain little scenes. I got the scenes I wanted. I don't think I need it again for a while. I think what I think is so crazy and sad is that the fact that the other half of this bed still technically belongs to Nola. And I can't change it without giving it to somebody else. He's not quite ready to give it to anybody else, but that's just like very sad <laughs> but yes so like i said Niklaus is going to be in his little f boy stage he's going to be doing a little but you know other than working hard and taking being a good father those are his two top priorities but he's also going to you know dibble and dabble with the ladies he's going to you know go to a few parties cause a little drama not promise himself to anybody you know have a couple girlfriends you gotta have a bunch of girlfriends to complete this aspiration you gotta have a lot of first kiss a lot it's just a really messy aspiration that i don't normally play with so i'm excited to play with it for this sim i normally if i have this aspiration i'm trying to depict the sim as like a he ain't he ain't nothing type of sim like he ain't a good sim but nikasa is a good guy he's just hurt and healing from the dramaticness that was his girlfriend getting addicted to alcohol and leaving him with a child. So, yes, this is a horse ranch LP, which is why I want him to scope the horse sculptures and why I want him to do more like handy tasks and outside tasks and nature tasks because. The ultimate goal is to live on a ranch and go through all the processes of having on a ranch, making wine, horses, chickens, all that. But we had to get there because he didn't start off with fortune. His parents are well off, you know, well enough to take care of like six kids. Speaking of six kids, Candy is away to college now. She. <laughs> Niklaus was able to see her off and say goodbye to his sister. He will be visiting her there. That's some of the, that's like going to be like one of the hot spots where he gets in a lot of trouble with the ladies on campus. But, so he's excited to have a sister who's on campus, you know, so he can have a way in. But, so Candy will be, still be around even though she's off to college getting her degree in fine arts i believe she wants to be an art critic but she also wants to make her own paintings as well then we have obviously uh nj he is still a child at the moment but he is aging up this part because i imagine that he's not that much younger than niklaus 
so it's time for NJ to age up. I wanted to do that with you guys, which is why I didn't already go ahead and age him up off cam camera because I do have an idea of what I wanted to do for his birthday. Kinda. And then there are other twins who we will see occasionally as well. Obviously, Nicholas is just in the attic at the moment, so you'll see everybody around from time to time. But we'll make sure we, so we're not forgetting about the other siblings not just yet i mean as the series goes on once new Klaus moves to his ranch of course it'll be more centered on him and the whole story is mostly centered on him him and naomi at least this is their let's play but i do want to like dibble and dabble and make little appearances of previous sims as time goes on i did adjust the aging so it's still on long but i have it you do with through mc command you can change the number of days each lifespan is last last so usually teenager was like a hundred and something days but i changed it to like 45 days so it's a little bit longer than normal but not quite as long as what it would have been because honestly i need that was a big part thing with mars legacy the gameplay was moving by too slowly because they just weren't aging up. <laughs> I couldn't move on to the next thing if they weren't aging up. But now, they're going to age up in a decent manner. I was about to start selling stuff from right here, but then I thought, I wonder what could go on the selling table. Or not. This little iPad, I debated selling this or not because it was Niklaus's iPad. And it would be cute for him, you know, to have it for his baby girl. But ultimately, I did think I decided not to sell it. But that is $400, so maybe I'll change my mind. We'll see. Especially if we could put it on a selling table. That'll be, when we can mark it up, that'll be a good little chunk of change. But, you know, it'll be sweet to keep things and give to his own daughter when she reaches age to be able to play with it. But times is hard. Money is very very tight right now so we we just got to figure out the best way for Nick Klaus to make $20,000 fast he he can't work most jobs because he is a high school dropout so eventually I do want him to well not that he needs to work a job because he's going to be a ranch hand he doesn't really need to work a job but that's just something that he, a personal goal that he has for himself to not feel like a total failure. He, you know, he never wanted to drop out of high school. He plan fully planned on getting his high school diploma until he had to be solely responsible for Naomi. And he feels like he doesn't want to just drop her off at her parents' house all day and then for him to go to work after work. So Naomi would basically be getting raised by his parents and not by him and he, or, you know, she already lost a mom. He wanted to be a very present dad as much as he can. Which is why he's trying to find way, different ways to make money. Speaking of different ways to make money, I do have Niklaus out here fishing. It is raining, so maybe this isn't the best time for him to be fishing, especially with the infant on his back. But fishing <laughs> with her in that carrier is a great way for him to make money and still be a present father. Which is why I have him doing it. And the dock is right here. It just it just feels right. Even though I don't know how much fishing he'll be doing on the ranch. Because it's kind of like a desert-y type of background. I don't know if there are lakes or anything around. But who knows? It could be a helpful skill that he needs in the future. Not only is fishing a good source of income once you get your skill up. But it is also very therapeutic for him. He probably just needs a very good way to relieve stress at the moment because I imagine that he's at all times the high stress level, which is probably also why he's going to be acting out with the ladies because he has had to grow up, grow up way too fast and not really, yes, through the actions of his own accord, yes, but his life just, it just got flipped so quickly and he has to deal with the choices that him and Nola made, even though Nola has bowed out of those choices. They currently don't have the best relationship, which is quite sad to hear it. 
and, it, and as you can see, Nola has had a bit of a makeover. She's been, I imagine she's been like out on the streets for a couple of weeks. So, you know, she's changed her clothes. She's, her hair is looking a little more disheveled at the moment because she's been out on the streets. But we will peek in on her from time to time. If you stay, actually, if you stay to the end of this episode, there will be an update on what Nola is doing and like Nala is doing and how she is progressing if she's getting better or worse or whatever. Because I felt like it's all three of their story, even though there she's not a part of the story right at, at the moment. She is Naomi's mom, so let's just do a little check in. Not with Niklaus, obviously. He wants nothing to do with her. <laughs> nothing to do with her. But we as the viewers can, can check in. Almost like a TV show. I've been watching a lot of Degrassi, so that is definitely inspiring a lot of Niklaus's storyline. I am catching an apple. It's only worth one dollar. He might as well eat it, I guess. We could plant it, but planting i don't know if we really want to plant roots here because we are planning on moving fairly quickly i the especially next part and that's part we're going to be getting to the money like i'm going to figure out i didn't collect no frogs this part but next part i'm gonna go around collecting frogs i'm gonna find those hundred and something dollar frogs i'm gonna sell those frogs on the okay ignore that i'm going to find the frogs on the um not find the frogs. I'm going to sell the frogs on the on the selling table once we can afford it, and we're gonna make some good money that way. Plus, through the woodworking and through catching fish, we we just we gonna we gonna figure it out for sure. My baby girl is she's uncomfortably wet. Oh no, and the clouds. You definitely have to stop fishing and take her home. So they are back home in the class is feeding baby girl. And we definitely need to... One thing I, we definitely need to do is get her a tub somewhere to give her baths. Currently we're just washing her up in the sink. And that's not going to fall out for too long, especially when she ages up into a toddler. Although my hope is that before before she ages up into a toddler will be out of this attic that is my hope that could be wishful thinking so do i need to do something a little different from last part in the sense of instead of spending money on decor for this house i just need to be saving the money probably probably everything most definitely probably needs to go to just getting the new place which isn't even really probably going to be like a new, new place. It's probably going to be kind of run down and old, but it's going to be a starter for him. And, you know, he going to make it work for his family, as he should, per as the provider that he is. He does have to go to work in just a few. I'm going to let him get some food and let him... um check for some coins coinage here i do also I have penny penny pixel on so hopefully he'll find money here and there like all this stuff i would go ahead and sell but i am going to see if i can put it on the selling table out here probably right out front wow after he finishes rummaging through that laundry for money, I'm going to have him go ahead and craft another horse sculpture. I'm going to have him craft as many of these as he can until he runs out of money. He actually can craft a few furniture pieces. I don't know if you can put these on the selling table though. So that's why I'm skipping with sticking with the sculptures. The crafting furniture will come in handy for when we start when we get our own place and start building furniture for that place. I think it would be cool. For, I don't, I don't definitely don't think he's gonna build all the furniture for the whole house, but it'd be cool if he built quite a bit of the things around, or maybe like build it and then sell it and buy something better. I don't know. We'll we'll see when we get there. 
and that scene, the class has always been a very, you know, woodsy, hands on. He was scout leader. He was a scout until, you know, he would have did it scouts all throughout high school too if he hadn't, you know, got so wrapped up with Nala. So he did leave that. So th these type of ways to make money, very hands on, very physical, I feel like it's right up his alley. It's almost time for him to have to go to work. I'm hoping he finishes this before he goes, but he may not actually. And he actually needs a little bit of sleep, but I think he'll be fine. Yeah. Who is that talking? We ain't going, we going to ignore that background noise. Who knows what it could be. And then, so I am going to have Nick Klaus's, not Nick Klaus's, NJ's birthday on Sunday. And I'm excited to do that. My baby girl is sad. She needs to go to sleep. She's just tired. But infants will never just go to sleep on their own. I'm sorry if you could hear my dog making weird noises in the back. He just will not be chill. <laughs> so sorry if you hear something on my end. That is my dog. I'm sorry. I keep giving the look every time he does it. And then he stops. And then I turn my back and he does it again. We can literally be anywhere else in the whole house. Next part for sure, I'm going to go ahead and get him leveled up to level 2 of his career. I might as well max out his career just so we can get as much money as we can. Granted, it's only a little part-time job. I don't know that he's ever going to make that much an hour, but it could definitely, definitely help. He's an animal enthusiast. He may feel intense from not spending time with animals and this makes me sad because he probably missed Smokey a lot missing furry friends oh <laughs> and there's nothing really I could do about this at the moment he's going off to work I'm going to send Nola to daycare once again and once I can figure out how to get her spend the week spend the weekend with I'm mod. I'm going to send Nola to spend the weekend with his parents, which are literally in the same house. But you get the point. Especially since his mom is stay at home, she's available to watch Nola for like three, four hours. I think he only works from five to nine, so he doesn't work very long at all. No, thank you. We don't want to join. My boy is back home. He's earned 72 measly dollars. He's exhausted and we gotta find better ways to make money. Truthfully, this is not gonna work. Let's go ahead and have him take a shower and then let's have him check on baby girl. Oh, she unlocked a milestone. What's so funny, Naomi started laughing for the first time. The cutest of giggles would now escape her while playing with toys and interacting with other sims. More playing, socializing will lead her to start babbling. She's running through these milestones just like her father did when he was a young buck. <laughs> I think Niklaus is definitely going to be the type of dad to prioritize his daughter's education and to his daughter improving and just... Just he wants to prove to everybody that he can be a good father, that he can do this, that he can be a good provider. He wants to be everything for Naomi, mother and father and provider and best friend, all the things. Granted, he's got a long road to get there. He has to learn how to become a father, let alone a mother, let alone a provider. He don't know how to do any of these things. That's just hence why he's struggling so bad at the moment to um, provide but he's trying I mean pretty much every second of the day is he's either just taking care of Naomi or working or finding other ways to make money even though we didn't catch no fish earlier I don't know if I didn't mention that we did not catch any fish we did catch a couple of upgrade parts so we will sell those on the selling table later on 
because we can't waste that time that we spent fishing. It has to have been worth something. Sweet baby girl. I enjoy making him make the bottles versus just feeding her, even though I know I could just feed her. I just this is a little soothing, a little more realism to the to the you know movement all of it all. He is really tired, he's hungry. We gotta put baby girl back in the back in her crib. Let's see, at least we already have food that is good to go and ready to eat. So let's go ahead and pick out what he's gonna eat for tonight. This is empty, so we'll throw that away. We'll actually just go ahead and send him straight to bed and he can eat in the morning. I do think he's doing a good, a great job so far. And she is a happy spitter. I mean, I'll take that. I'll take it. The only quirk I really, really don't like is the messy eater. But granted, the messy eater could be advantageous, especially if you have that trash can that gives you money. So sometimes that one can be helpful, but I don't like how uncomfortable it makes the Sims in the house because there's food everywhere every single time the baby eats. Speaking of food everywhere, let's go ahead and throw these bottles away. This trash can right now is the main provider of this household. This trash can is working overtime and pretty much giving us all the funds that we need to survive on the daily. <laughs> all right now, um, bottle go in that trash can. Very good, he got $40 from trash. And then he wakes up in the morning, we'll go ahead and have him get some food. We're going to go by what's most likely to spoil first. So we're going to go ahead and have him eat this. And then let's get him to use the bathroom. Oh, first blowout. Lord. And what do we not have? A tub to wash her in. <laughs> Lord, let's go ahead and cancel all this wake him up so he can figure out how to get baby girl cleaned up we need to change her diaper and wash her but with no tub we at least need to let him pee first so he don't also have a blowout but the rest can wait i think him he's thinking the baby's thinking they have, <laughs> this is a thinking household all right, so I had him change her diaper and her clothes and she's still stinking. So we're going to have to take her to the sink and do a couple of wash ups. Um, one is not going to be enough to get her energy, all her hygiene all the way up. So we're going to have to do it a couple of times. But hey, this is better than nothing at the, at the moment. And if it saves us money on not renovating this bathroom, I really don't want to renovate the bathroom because who wants to do that what I might you know what I might do I might make the bathroom downstairs a shared space instead of like just like I might make the bathroom downstairs a shared space instead of the other household space that way he can use the tub when he needs to use it yeah I definitely think I'm going to do that before next part because this is a little ridiculous. I mean, it works. You see? Like one more and she'll be actually pretty clean. So, it works, definitely. But, and, it, and it's pretty quick, actually. I actually might not get a tub or worry about it because that is super fast. So, we're going to go ahead and feed her. And I'm just going to feed her from straight from a regular bottle this time because I need him to take care of himself. He is hungry <laughs> and he needs to take care of himself as well he can't take care of her if he's not doing well himself this man is just standing here in front of the fridge eating his macaroni with his baby on his back i wanted him to sell stuff on the sailing table today 
but it is raining so i'm probably gonna edit the weather i'm sick of it it's been raining this is it's been raining this whole entire episode we 30 minutes in and it ain't, the rain ain't lit up yet so i am about to cheat it and make it sunny partially cloudy you know maybe like the rain just paused for a second very good all right, so we got the selling table down right here, and we can even bring baby girl down with us as we go selling, which I think is super cute and sweet. And we can put everything in the inventory that it will let us put in here. It won't let us sell the bike, so we'll just, on the selling table, so we'll just sell the bike regular. Yes, whatever it won't, won't go on the selling table, we'll just sell it. But I didn't want to sell it without finding out first if it can go on the selling table. A lunchbox that his mom gave him. Scout manual. Oh, we're selling his scout manual. But it's got to be done. He needs he needs the money. He really do. And let's go ahead and s s throw this plate away. Can we sell this on the selling table? No, so we'll just leave it. I don't think I'm, he's quite ready to part with it. Maybe baby girl will get into scouts too. One day, I, I wish he would wear, Naveen would wear a shirt. I don't know why he's decided to go topless. I must have deleted some CC that he was wearing. Um, but since he's here, let's go ahead and, not Nicklaus, Naveen. I'm still doing that, still calling them wrong names, so. Good thing is, there's only two people in the household that we're in now, so hopefully it should happen less often, but Naveen has decided to make an appearance, and of course, they have a negative reaction right at the back. Maybe Naveen is still a little disappointed with everything that's happened. He's was, is very disappointed that his son dropped out, but, you know, he still loves him, still supports him. He's not going to, like, take away the house. Oh, speaking of the house... The rent is 20 something dollars every 15 days, I believe. So they're not charging him hardly nothing. They're actually probably losing money keeping him up there. But two reasons why I moved him up there. One, the Nicklaus household was already maxed out. There was no way for them to have a baby or Nala live there without them being separate. Two, I just think it adds a little, little like they're trying to treat. Okay, why is he yelling at his dad? Y'all need to stop interacting. If y'all ain't gonna interact right, we, we about to do a yard sale. And we don't got time for this. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? It's a landlord interaction? I don't know. But two, I think it just adds a little of realism and personal growth for him to learn how to stand on his own as a man before he moves out completely. Because he is still... He is still just a teenager. He has a lot of aging and growing up to do. And you guys let me know. Also, I'm just saying a lot. I'm saying a lot. I'm saying a lot. Let me know if you guys like Nicholas's hair. I'm thinking about letting it continue to, to get longer and longer and longer. You know how Naveen's hair didn't really have much growth. He kind of kept his length, his lock shoulder length the entire Let's Play. But Nicholas, we can, you know, have his lock slowly get longer and longer or just loose hair so it slowly get longer and longer as the let's play goes on or we can give him a low cut i thought he looked really handsome with his low cut but i wanted to show the passage of time like him aging up and getting older and because now that i plan on you know just showing the different stages of his life so that is why he has hair and let me know if you guys hate it and i'll go take him to go get a haircut but i love the hair personally I love the idea of maybe Nala loved the, the hair. Maybe that's why he started growing it out. And maybe that's why he wants to keep it to a little reminder of her. If somebody would please buy something off this table. I know it's a bunch of horses. It's not a lot of variety. It's an upgrade part and it's a scout manual. Not a lot of variety. I get that. But I'm a struggling single father, a teenage father. I'm trying to make money for my child. Who is saying she needs a nap time, but she can just go to sleep. Just go to sleep if you need a nap, girl. Okay, very good. Very good. Well, your daddy out here trying to make some money for y'all. 
please please i bought this sailing table don't make it you know a waste of money please 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 buy something off this table selling table Come on, these Not horse sculptures the are just swings. handcrafted with the best of love and care. People. Come on, Dominique. Your son and my sister are best friends, and you just gonna let me be out here starving with my daughter? Like, buy something, Rabbit Dominique. And Bella Goff, wow. Hello, Bella Goff. Why well, I think that one of these horses happy. will look wonderful in your Goff oh, mansion. Friend. They are uh -huh. dark colored. Practically black. I think it'd be perfect. Oh, there's my sim self <laughs> She I do have her in the world's like pretty much in every world that I play I always put my sim self in there not really to play with her. I just like oh, Somebody bought something Bella golf see I knew that would look good in your golf house. I Knew it anyway. I like to put my sim self into my game just to have her walk around see what she gonna do Maybe she'll start a family on her own or whatever she'll do so yeah this himself i my fiance is not in this world with her i do have a world where it's me and my not my fiance my husband i'm married now oh my gosh i'm married now <laughs> if i didn't say already I, i'm sure you guys knew that's why i was taking a break i got married on june 22nd had my honeymoon my phone got in jamaica thankfully it was before the hurricane barrel came so we were back home before Hurricane Barrel came. But unfortunately, my phone did get in the water and I was without a phone for like three weeks. And now I finally got one back and I'm back making Sims content and I'm so happy to be back. I missed you guys. And I'm gonna try not to, to take another big break like that again for a while. Maybe like during Christmas, I'll probably take a break for the, you know, until the new year. But. Other than that, I am back and ready to get this Let's Play going. It's going to be much more, it should be not much more, but it will be a little bit more faster paced than the last one with the aging changed. But it's definitely going to be more drama filled and I'm excited about that. Dad, if you're going to be out here with no shirt causing a ruckus, you need to be buying stuff. Really, all y'all need to be buying stuff. I got a child to feed. What part of that don't y'all understand? All right, all right, all right. So we sold something for $80 and it was the scouting manual. Oh, I'm so sad to see that go. Scouts was such a big part of Nicklaus as a child, but he has to be a man and do man things and make some money. That $80 is gonna come in handy. Now, can, can we sell one more thing before time runs out? One more thing, anybody, anybody at all? I promise you these horse sculptures are like of mint conditions, hand sculpted, nothing else like it in the world. Okay, dad came back out. Nobody bought these final few things. We'll just add them back to the inventory and we'll try to sell them for the next yard sale. We're going to put this table in the inventory. I could just leave it here, but who knows? I might go somewhere and just randomly like be like, yeah, let's sell here. So let's keep it, I think, on us like a weapon. All right, so I have switched households and then I added Niklaus and to this household. <laughs> yeah. And I believe Naomi is outside. Somebody needs to go get her. Okay, where's my baby? And why is Jaden sad? Put on your bird costume then. It is your birthday. Yeah, it's time for him to age up. He been sad about this bear costume or like wanting to wear it dressed up like a bear. I don't know like for a while it's been a couple of parts that he's been wanting to wear the bear outfit but it's not even given the option for him to put on the outfit or I don't know where it is so he just going to be sad I don't know sad on his birthday oh I don't want that I might cheat that away I don't want him to grow up bad because he was sad about the bear costume speaking of sad sights let's go out here and let's have ne Naveen go out here and get this baby oh wait Callie's going to go get her Callie, come back. You need to be in here with, your, with, the, with the birthday cake, putting candles on the cake. And the Klaus, go get your grandbaby and bring her inside, please. And thank you. Everybody steady sit. Here are the twins. Don't they look so cute with their little, well, they're all grown up makeovers. I know you, my guys, 
didn't really get to see a lot of them but they are very cute still rocking their pink and green Kinsley has the shorter hair Khalees has the longer hair um, Khalees and Naveen have a sh difficult family dynamic I guess add a little dimension to the family not everybody has to get along perfect so let's have Jaden come and blow out these candles and the age up and give him a little makeover excited to see what he's gonna look as a teenager no the Klaus Naveen is being a good and a good grandfather giving his dog granddaughter a bath which is really oh actually no he's not but if you're gonna be in here with her give her a bath am I missing it oh lord not I done missed it messing around with Naveen lord <laughs> Okay. All right. So I'm definitely going to give him the musical genius aspiration. He already has the musical lover. I think I might give him hmm, what traits should I give him? Socially awkward, uh, loner. I thought about loner, but uh, I'm unsure. I don't want to just give him the same traits that I gave Candy, basically, because both creative types. I want to give him, I don't know. Let me know if you guys think he he should have different traits than the one I'm picking. Currently, he's perfectionist and he's overachiever. Mm. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Maybe unflirty? I'm just trying to figure out what his personality is. I could just give him creative, but I feel like that's basic to give somebody who loves music or loves making music. So, bro? Loner? Socially awkward? I think I'm gonna do socially awkward. Just add a little variety. Maybe he's a little socially awkward because he is adopted. Okay, so he did grow up with hair, so I am gonna keep his hair in this blonde again. So we are gonna keep up with the trends. We're gonna have everybody go ahead and get some cake, and I'm gonna give Jaden and Jay his teenager makeover. I did opt to skip out on most of the makeover for Jaden because I wanted to focus on his birthday activities that we're going to get into right after we leave Cass. Him and, and the Klaus do have some plans. Well, more so in the Klaus has some plans for it to, to, you know, dive Nick and Jay into the new world of teenagerness. Plus, the Klaus needs a reprieve, reprieve from being a father, going to work, being a father, going to work. So, they're going to have some fun tonight and Callie has agreed to babysit so that the two of them can have a good time tonight. Mm. Also, Naveen desperately needs a shirt, so let's go ahead and give him any shirt. Also, he, this man has gained so much weight. <laughs> it's because of all Callie's good cooking. Now, he ain't the same young taunt body tenderoni he was at the start of the part one, but that's okay. Okay, so there are two twins from the high school, Georgia and Callie. That and the Klaus knew before he dropped out and they are throwing a pool party. Brooke and August are here because obviously they're still in high school. They are older than the Klaus. They probably are seniors now. But as y'all know, Candy graduated a year early. So that's why they're still in high school and she's not. Not Candy calling to ask about the party because she missing out because she's in college. But we're going to have some music playing. We're going to have them going you know doing a little flirting tonight there are plenty of women here for Niklaus to talk to and get on his serial romantic stuff if you catch my drift but also where you know this party isn't for NJ NJ part birthday just falls on the day because NJ obviously just aged up into a teenager he doesn't know any of these people except for Brooke in August but this is a good way for him to meet some of them before he goes to high school 
So let's, you know, let's see how well he does with meeting people. I am controlling the um, Georgia and Kelly's household. I just added Niklaus and NJ to their household. What is a pool party with some actual without some actual swimming? I hate the way that the Sims swim ever since the Solani update. Like I get connecting swimming to fitness, but I hate 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 how they swim. Like the better more fitness they have, the like more like athletic they swim, and it's that's a little ass pool for him to be doing them laps like that in. But as I was saying, before, there's August. As I was saying before, we. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have him just back float because I don't want him to swim crazy like them people are doing. The splashing is very loud. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, his aspiration is serial romantic. I don't know what's going on right now that is not letting me see all the things. Okay, so we'll we'll check that out a little later. I have no idea why it's not showing everything. Now what is a party without tunes? We gotta make sure that music is bumping and playing. Brooke is over here in the hot tub instead of the pool. And Niklaus is just floating in the middle of the pool like while everybody circles him like he is the center of attention literally. From most socially awkward person to person in the center of the pool. Like, crazy ridiculous. Like, I can't even see his now. I don't know what's going on with that, but we'll figure that out later. I definitely need to s s see about Jaden's purposes. Or at the very least, I need to make sure that they, he had some developing, and I did set that. And look at Naveen getting an attractiveness alert. Okay, says, wow, what a sim. The clouds marched to stop what they were thinking about. For a moment, found themselves staring at Aaliyah Hamilton. That woman has so many of the qualities that make Niklaus's heart race as if there was a cross-country marathon. Their beautiful features meet Niklaus's desires so readily that it's almost as if they were created. Such a sim sculpted for, especially for Niklaus. Where is Aaliyah Henson, this is their mom. Girl, sir, you're supposed to be attracted to the daughters. Meanwhile, you worried about uh, the mom. Niklaus, get over yourself. You acting like you got mama issues. Do you have mama issues? I would think not, but <laughs> get over yourself. This grown woman does not want your, your little scrawny butt. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Lord, he is... He is going for her. Anyway, she called everybody to the mill to get food. He, she is their, the twins' mom, and she allowed them to have this pool party. It is supervised. There's no drugs, no alcohol, just good old-fashioned teens doing teen stuff. I still need to give Aaron. This is Aaron. Um, I don't know if you guys remember him. He was Niklaus's friend from childhood one of his other friends other than um nala i do need to give him a makeover real bad with this long ponytail and his ugly face so hair i don't know what it is but all my sims when they age up defaultly have that little ugly facial hair instead of like no facial hair or whatever or any other type of facial hair it's always that one so i now despise that yeah, facial hair but but please you stop looking at this grown woman help yourself to you know there are three young available women here other than Brooke there are the twins in there and there is I think her name is Sarah or Clara or something like that with a blues head scarf all available and J NJ is way over here by himself Meanwhile, she don't have no sentiments, no thoughts about him at all. All she worried about is the menstrual pain that she has going on. And she perceives him as basic looking. So please, please, please get off. Calm yourself. 
why don't you, you know, talk to, why don't you come talk to her instead? Because she actually does, does find you attractive and clearly you find her attractive too, but you need to like leave her alone. <laughs> leave the mom alone, please. Come talk to Miss Georgia. She perceived you, y'all perceive each other as attractive. So it's a much better suited match. Not that he's trying to find a match. He's just trying to play along and do whatever. And let's have NJ come and talk to the other twin. They do in fact find each other attractive. So let's go ahead and have them talk to each other. I think they would be a cute, super cute couple, especially because of the blonde hair. And she, so Callie, is, when I was creating them, Callie is the more like eclectic. Uh, she's a gamer girl. She is an e-girl basically type of style, kit kawaii type of style, you know, things like that. Whereas Georgia is more almost like a southern belle type of dressing in the way she carries herself like a lady etc so even though they are identical twins they are not the same person they both you know do their own thing have their own styles their own attractions etc okay Naveen Naklaus sorry I'm gonna get his name right Naklaus <laughs> has NJ got an attractive layer for Callie, or, or did Callie get one for him? And Nicklaus has learned that Georgia is single and they're flirting and hitting it off. We got teenagers pairing off everywhere in this house. So we have those two in the back with the headscarf, and we got Nicklaus and Georgia over here flirting up a storm. I don't know where, you know, oh, I thought they was going off somewhere together, but it looks like August is leaving. So let's just talk to her and, you know, put on our smooth moves, what we think is smooth moves. Ask her to exchange phone numbers with her. Nicholas thinks he's so smooth. And meanwhile, NJ is just, you know, trying not to be socially awkward. He does have the piece. I am going to go let him use the bathroom in a moment. But I want her to talk to her just a little bit first. I do not want him to use the bathroom on himself, obviously, because that would be embarrassing at his first high school party. Meanwhile, Brooke has opted to talk to herself in the mirror. Very cool, very cool. She is feeling the clouds heavy. And Pack your weeds. not Nicklaus having you know a pick of two. This she, this woman right, young lady right here, has come over to speak to him as well. He just is the the belle of the town, isn't he? All right, Klaus might have a little game in him or something. I don't know. This is quite the sight. Lord, and not the mama joining the conversation too. Now Klaus just feels like he's the man. Granted, nothing is happening right now. Like he's just talking to them, but he feels he's feeling himself right now a little bit, probably a lot. This is his first time, you know, going out, learning, and you know, and it's going pretty well. I mean, he he pretty proud of himself for <laughs> what he's accomplishing today. I I'd, I'd definitely say so. And NJ still hasn't used the bathroom, so we got, definitely got to make sure that he does that. Meanwhile, Klaus is supposed to be making sure NJ is having a great time <laughs> on his birthday, introducing him to people, etc., etc. And he's too busy sitting here flirting with all these women, including the twins' mom, but not really flirting with the twins' mom because she's not really interested in him like that. But in his mind, he feel like he the man right now. She's just being polite, good host, whatever. And watching her daughter, who's flirting a little too hard. You know, she just making sure, okay, what y'all talking about over here? And Niklaus thinks, meanwhile, oh my goodness, she is feeling Niklaus or something. You saw that little flirt? 
yeah, they feeding his ego real bad right now. <laughs> I might have created a monster, y'all. I might have created a monster. Meanwhile, NJ's like, uh, where did she go? And now where is everybody going? Because I came over here to join the party and now everybody's going over there. I'm just still sitting here very socially awkward. Maybe I should go over there with NJ and talk to them too. I don't know why it's not letting me switch to in okay there it goes. Maybe he can play a song for the party. Maybe that would make him feel a little bit more comfortable. Almost like almost like Francesca and Bridgerton when she went off from the party and played her music instead. Oh, we definitely can have him come over here and talk though. Have him talk to what? Oh my freaking goodness. It says, you know what? I've had you on my dirty mind since I met you. Not Kelly, the one who I thought was going to be with NJ. Now done threw herself at Niklaus. And her sister's been flirting with Niklaus all day. And Kelly's like, no, nah, this is my man. Funny, you haven't left my mind either. Oh my gosh. Of course, NJ really wanted the mom. But... He's in his F-boy era and he's going to take whoever he can get at the moment. So, let's make NJ, not NJ, Naveen is going to take whoever he can get because he is definitely in his F-boy era. And this is exactly why we got to get WW out of my game because it is just too much. Because they are literally about to, he's really about to have his first encounter since his um, ex. And we definitely cannot show that. <laughs> So I'm going to skip to the end of the party because, yeah, there's uh, some not right outside the door with the mom. She really is just allowing that. That's crazy. Right outside the door is crazy. He, meanwhile, I was sitting here talking about how, how he had to pick these three ladies right here in Georgia. Not Georgia. Kelly just came in and stole the show. <laughs> That's crazy. Niklaus really is the man at this exact moment in time. And I'm going to... Oh my gosh, that is too much. That is too much. Okay, let's go ahead and cut, cut, cut. The... All right. While Naveen gets... <laughs> not Naveen. Niklaus gets himself cleared up. Looks like NJ has bounced back and is doing a little flirt of his own with this lovely young lady right here the party is about over i'd say niklaus had an amazing time nj had an okay time he flirted a little bit uh he <laughs> talked to a couple of people met a couple of people that he's going to be attending high school with so i don't know it was a successful party i think it could have been a little bit better if nj hadn't you know been you know abandoned by Nick Klaus and Nick Klaus actually attended to his brother made sure his brother was having fun the whole time but he kind of left him on his own while he flirted and was notorious all night long <laughs> but let's go ahead and get everybody home now because this has been too 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 much before I do that this is passionate fling he was excited by woohooing with somebody he barely knows that it's just crazy Yes, let's get both of the Mars brothers on home. Okay, so the Mars brothers are back home. Naveen, Niklaus opted to wear his swim shirt trunks back home. And for whatever reason, the, the, the Mars left baby girl outside. So NJ just picked her up and gave her to Niklaus, which is being a super great uncle, super great brother. And let's go ahead and take them inside and, and take them back on home. And I'll check back with you guys when we load in home. All right, baby girl is safe and in her crib. Niklaus is going to go wash off the activities of the day. And I think we're going to end this part here. Please do stick around if you want to see a little update on what Nola is up to. If you don't want to know what Nola's been up to, go ahead and end the part video right here. But if you want to know where Nola is, if she's safe, if she's getting better or worse, stick around because I'm going to have a little... You know, little machinima type storyline bit going on there at the end. 
thank you guys so much for watching. We are in for a long, long ride, but Klaus got this. He can handle this. Peace, love, and hair grease. See you guys next Thursday and as many Thursdays as I can after that. Bye, guys.